Vicki. Good morning. I'm Chris. Let's please note for the record that it is before 7 o'clock. <laughs> this is a unicorn here. And it's 33 degrees outside. This is rare. Rare to see me outside before 7 o'clock. Anyway, we're headed off to work. And by work, I mean I'm just along for the ride. It's four and a half hours there, four and a half hours back. I hope it's like 10 minutes work. Hopefully it's just 10 minutes work. I have no idea. No idea. I better get some breakfast and lunch out of this whole thing. Probably supper too. Probably supper too. All right, see you in a little bit. Ah, uh, much better. I figured out how to make my chin a little bit smaller. How'd you do that? Put the camera farther away. <laughs> so I hit a bump, right? Yeah, if you hit a bump, it's probably gonna end up in my lap. But anyway. On the road again. On the road again. One of the best things about riding in the car is I like to talk. Not so I'm much. Trapped. And he's trapped. Yeah. Nine hours. Nine hours. Trapped. Ooh. We can talk about a lot of stuff. <laughs> you don't forget anything. No. Let's talk about my feelings. <laughs> <laughs> That's one of his favorites. Yeah. Yeah. He always said I needed sensitivity to us. Oh, a whole course in it. A whole course. All right, see you in the next one. Well, we didn't get far. Second stop, we needed some snuff. Let's try this again. <laughs> Y'all don't know what happened, but Mario Andretti, every time he cuts a curve or something, the camera comes flying into my lap. I have a curve, it's on Well, I don't know what you're doing. Well, maybe a bump in the road. That could be an idea. Anyway, thought maybe y'all would like to get to know us, like how we met. And he's trapped, so let's talk. Oh, boy. <laughs> yeah, buddy, it's going to be a long ride. Long ride. But anyway, so let me tell you how we met, for those of you who don't know us. It was 1985. I was working full time and going to college. And I didn't have time to date. When I mean working full time, I mean I was working full time, on call, and then I had a side side job as a babysitter. So I didn't have time to date. And I just decided to turn it over to God. I said, look, I'm too busy. I'm trying to pass this college. Just send me somebody and let me know when you sent him to me. I mean, I'm gonna need to hear some bells and whistles. Maybe sunshine from heaven shining down on him. Something because I don't wanna miss it. Anyway, my friend and I, we were out with a group of people and we had gone bowling. And afterwards, someone said, well, hey, let's go hang out at so-and-so's house. Well, I didn't know so it's open. I'll go hang out. What was the worst thing that happened? Well, when I walk in the door, and sure enough, I kid you not, bells and whistles. I saw him. I knew immediately, although I had my doubts, because I was like, wait a minute, Lord. This, this don't seem right. I mean, this dude you're shining the light on, He's passed out on a couch, and there's a bunch of beer cans hanging around him. <laughs> I was like, I wanted to reintroduce myself to God. Hey, that's Vicki uh, Vicky Perkins and uh, Moji Sumrall's Sunday school class. Remember me? This can't be right. But it was. How long have we been married? 36 years, man. 36 years? I'm I don't know. Got Maybe. married in 1987. Yeah, got married in 87, so whatever that is. But I think God was right. I knew it. You have any regrets? No. Sure? I'm, well, I'm sure. I don't know, you had a little scour well, on your I'm face. I'm trying to drive. I'm watching this guy's upper about to come off his car. Oh, it is, isn't it? You see it? Yeah. Alright, that's how we met. 
and to be fair, it was my house I was living in. They weren't my birds. That wasn't his birds. He was just dog tired. That's why he was passed out on the couch. I was self-employed at 21. And if any of y'all are self-employed, you know you have to work way harder when you're self-employed. Yeah. And you get rich. Oh, yeah. I mean, real rich. Yeah. We're just filthy rich. I'm 63. And I'm still working. Yeah, still working. But it's been good. Raised our kids on it. Yep. We have two completely different personalities. It worked pretty good. Yeah. yeah. I'm actually not a rule follower. It's just. Oh, the book on follow rules. I wrote the book on follow rules. But I think you need both of them to join together if you want. Alright. Uh-huh. I'll see you in another couple. Be a long ride. Yeah, it is. See you in a couple miles. Well, we just went over a bridge. A good one. Um, a good one. Like it met the stars. <laughs> that good. <laughs> I don't know what river it was. What was the name of the river? Appalachian, I think. I don't know. River Appalachian. I don't know why people name things you can't pronounce. Well, the Indians probably didn't care. Oh, well. Anyway, if you've been following me for any amount of time, you know I don't do bridges. Mm -mm. Not anymore. Not since that time I come back from Texas. Yep. Go ahead. It was my turn to drive. Chris turned to sleep. We were um, going up. Traffic, bumper to bumper. 70 miles an hour. All of a sudden, I started tingling in my hands. They were getting sweaty. I was getting hot. It's like, oh, whatever. I'm having another hot flash. I was asleep. He was asleep. I said, wake up, Chris. <laughs> Turn the air on. Don over here. I got a hot flash going on. It wasn't a hot flash. You know how I know? I started passing out. You know, the walls started just closing in on me. So, by the time we got down to the other side of that bridge, he was driving from the passenger seat. I was almost passed out. We had both rededicated our lives to the Lord. Yeah, I don't do bridges. Not those, not those bridges anymore. No. All right, see you in a little bit. just had breakfast. It's like 10.30. I think we're about a little over halfway there. Yep. We fixed to get in the two lane highways. Yay! We're not there yet. About oh. 30 miles. All I got to say is I don't think none of the tax dollars is going on this road. A lot of unintentional speed bumps. Yeah. Well, I've been watching these Alaskan homestead and off grids, and I'm just gonna have to say it. I don't think I'd make a good Alaskan homesteader. Oh. Mm -mm. I don't know how they do it. I mean, going out in the cold to chop wood so that you could cook. Get the get the house warm, and I ain't even gonna mention the uh, outhouse situation. Oh, ain't gonna happen. Jeez, uh -uh. somebody needs to say something about their tax dollars. Where could it be going? Cause it ain't developed out here. Jeez. Oh, <laughs> anyway, we almost there. Hang on, Betsy. Hang on. That brief moment, you think you might be lost? <laughs> we're not lost. I just no. didn't know where we was. Yeah, yeah, that moment right there. All right, I'll see you. Well, guess how long the job lasted? 30 minutes. Yep. Have we got to come back? Yes. You can change the pressure. 
Is it under warranty? It's under warranty. Yay, even better. But it, I don't know if lightning hit it, loose wires or something. They burn up the compressor. All right. Part of it. Part of it. Self employment. Yay. Seriously, just how many bridges are there between <laughs> here and there? I don't know what's holding this one up. It looks like it's leaning a little bit. Oh, hush. <laughs> I mean, well, seriously, look, look, at that, look at that bridge. This is the John James Audubon Bridge. You just watch the road. I'll look at signs. Part of the road design, road sign. I mean, look at that. I wonder how they get that concrete to stay up. I mean, that's concrete way up there. I need to worry with dirty hands or the water. I don't know. Well, if me and my hypochondria don't come out of this alive, somebody better bring chicken and dumplings to my wake. I'm just sing, saying. They gotta sing free bird at mine. Yeah. Water <laughs> situation. The whole town's got it. All right, there you go. Life just gets better. Self-employment. Well. I think he's having a hot flash. <laughs> Billy G's thing swimming. Or could it be the water situation? I don't know. I don't know. I'm feeling puny myself. But mine just could be in my head. <laughs> Mine's usually not. <laughs> but his is usually not. That's right. Oh, help us. Well, we made it back to our town. It was a long way. A long day. Yeah, you sit, the, you sit down for Nine hour. I know. Sit down for nine hours. More than that. I think more than that. Hmm. Nine hours driving. Yeah. We left at seven minutes five, so was it? I don't know. That's nine, nine, that's I lost counting a building about that's ten, so six hours ago. All right. Glad we made it. Yeah. Self employment. Seven, um, seven, uh, didn't have too bad a sensitivity class today. No, but I got all my talking out. I'm tired from talking. He took his hearing aids out about five hours ago. Mm -hmm. They quit. Yeah. Got burned up. They did not get burned up. <laughs> all right, have a good one.